hello all welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see how to download and install matlab for windows os so this will be very much useful for students and working professionals who want to use free versions of the matlab let's get started yeah first to open any browser so basically i will open the microsoft edge and type download matlab So I'll go with the first link uh, I got from here, from the Matbox site. So it will ask you for the language preference. Uh, basically, I'm from India. I'll choose uh, Indian English. So this uh, Matlab is available with the multiple platforms like uh, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So we need a Windows here so we'll go with the matwork downloads in the windows platform so it may ask you to sign in with the matworks account since we don't already have a matworks account we'll go to the create account so here i'll show how to create a new matlab matworks account first you have to enter your email and then press next You have to press continue it anyway. So verification captcha will run. Yeah. Next you have to enter your password. The password must have eight to fifteen characters and at least one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter. At least one number as usual. Now it's done. So the verification email will be sent through email. I need to enter the verification code. Yes, now I got the verification code. I'll enter the verification code and accept the online service agreement. Again, I need to enter my first name, last name, location, and need to describe about you if you are a student you go with the student account or other thing means you have to select the appropriate option so now i'll enter my first name and then description about you for example if you are a student i'll show what kind of details required i'll go with the option called the student student option and it may ask further about your department and your study role everything so originally i am not a student so i'll go with the option engineer in industry so i'll press next to create account after creating account you will get this uh, interface so it will mention like your matter account is not linked with to an active license so we can basically use uh, if we already have a license we can link with this option if we don't have an option uh, active license you can if you don't have a license you can use uh, matlab online basic version uh, but it is limited to 20 hours per month otherwise you can go with the uh, 30 days matlab free trial so now we are going with this option so it may ask uh, since i have provided as a private employee it may ask you to company name i'll provide my company name Yeah, the free the MATLAB free trial has been approved. Now we can download the uh, install download and install MATLAB. So now we have a received a download link. Before that, you can select the release version. So it is the latest revision is revision 2025A. If you are watching this video in the future, means uh, you will have a different version. Also, this trial version expires in 10th October, exactly 30 days from today. Also, if you want to download this software for other OS, means you can download with uh, this drop down option. For my case, it is uh, for Windows. 
Apple press download for Windows. It may ask the which location you want to save the file. So I'll select the file path and save. So now the download has completed. I'll install the file. So again it will ask you to sign in with your email id I will again enter my email id I will enter the password and then you will have a software license agreement You have to read all those things and then and you have to agree those license agreement and press yes button and press next so this trial version will be expired on 10th october as mentioned before so this is trial for individual also you have to confirm your username and email id the username must be same as the our system's username and the installation destination will be reconfirmed here. I will go with the default uh, destination. Here we need to select the products which we require to install. As a default, MATLAB is only selected. As of now, I will go with the MATLAB alone. Also, you can check out we have multiple other products also which is used for other disciplinaries. If we want to install this additional products after installation also we can do it i explain those steps led in the later part of this video so it is asking whether you we need a shortcut on desktop if you want you can add so well yeah this is the windows username and then destination where the files need to be installed and total one night of out of 88 products in and it requires at least 4.59 GB and I'll start and I'll press begin installation now the installation has completed I'll press close now we will check the MATLAB software which we installed recently whether all the functions working properly or not Okay, let's open the MATLAB. The MATLAB has opened. Now we can check whether all functions working properly. Uh, also, if we want to install an additional product, as I told you before, you can go with the option called uh, add ons here yeah you have to open the explore add-ons and it will take some time to open for an example if i want to add on a product called simulink coder i'll type simulink coder yeah i got this and then search it for it and I got the simulink coder. You have to press install uh, to add on. Also, you can go through your overview of the product and functions, flags, apps, examples, everything from here. And once again, confirm the name of the product that simulink coder. So I'll press next to proceed further. Accept. Let's stop. Process.
Oh, the installation has completed. So you can see here. So you can see here Simulink Coder has been installed already. Now you can use Simulink Coder. So that's all for today's video. If you like my explanation, please make a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If this content will be useful for someone else, please forward to them. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.